ex-first lady talked about her experiences with hot flashes, using hormone therapy, and the importance of speaking up about things that bring her happiness. In an effort to encourage more dialogue around menopause, a stage of women's health that is frequently overlooked, she opened up about her own experience with people. While discussing the topic of hormone therapy for menopause Obama disclosed, I also take hormones because of experiencing hormone shifts due to infertility and having to take shots. Despite being low risk on other fronts due to having a healthy baseline, I still experience night sweats, even in my 30s. And when you consider the other symptoms that come with menopause, such as hot flashes, it can be quite overwhelming. I recall having a hot flash on Marine One. I was dressed up and needed to walk into an event, but suddenly it felt like someone had placed a furnace inside me and turned it up to the highest setting. Everything started melting, and I thought to myself, this is ridiculous, I can't go on like this. Obama hopes that by sharing her experience, more women will feel comfortable discussing menopause and related issues. Michelle shared that her husband Barack had a pragmatic approach when it came to dealing with menopause. As he was surrounded by women in his cabinet, many of whom were experiencing menopause, he could easily recognize the signs. Instead of becoming flustered or uncomfortable, he simply asked what was going on and suggested turning on the air conditioning. Michelle highlighted the need for more open discussion around menopause and related issues. As there are many aspects of day-to-day -day life that can be challenging for women going through this stage. She pointed out that cultural norms need to evolve to better support women during menopause. Back then, Michelle expressed her desire to have a better understanding of what menopause entailed. She jokingly shared her mother's nonchalant response of not remembering much about it. However, after eight years, Michelle now has personal experience with menopause, and she recognizes that there is still a lack of accessible information on the topic. In a previous interview, Michelle expressed her desire to understand menopause better and joked about her mother's lack of memory regarding her own experience. Eight years later, Michelle now has first-hand experience with menopause, but she still feels that there is a lack of accessible information on the subject. In an interview previewing her upcoming book, The Light We Carry which will be available on November 15, Michelle acknowledges that there is not enough conversation about menopause and that the available information is limited. She notes that she and her friends are all going through it, and they are all struggling to find sufficient resources and support. During this time of physical change, Obama's girlfriends, whom she used to gather together for regular fitness boot camps when she was in the White House, have provided her with more than just moral support. They have also shared valuable information about menopause. Obama's workouts have changed. Some of it is menopause, some of it is aging, she says. I find that I cannot push myself as hard as I used to. That doesn't work out for me. That when I tear a muscle or pull something and then I am out. The recovery time is not the same. What are your thoughts like share and subscribe and thanks for watching.